Here's where we're gonna be installing a new vinyl seawall along the shoreline right here. It's got a nice beach here right now, but he wants to level the yard up and have a little bit more backyard. And then here's the boathouse here. We'll be taking down, reclaim as much as we can, hauling the rest to the dump and smiles. Or is that Marge? <laughs> <laughs> this little retainer wall will be coming out also. And let's have the yard continue right on out to the new seawall. Here's the old, some more pictures of the old boathouse when we're getting out of here. Freddie just got done dropping off a uh, material list, or all of our material for a seawall. You can see all the material there on the barge now. He's fixing to head back to the job site. And we just got done unloading all of the uh, boathouse that we demoed today. You can see it there on the other trailer and truck. We can haul that over to the reclaim center and get it uh, separated and what's good, put it on the racks to sell and what's bad, burn it or haul it to the dump. Get started on the vinyl wall now. Got some temporary poles set to hold the uh, double two bait whalers up. Up, staggered joints. Going with a 12 foot vinyl seawall. Down. Got all the whalers installed. We're starting with our first sheet of vinyl now, 12 footer. Get everything lined up in the corner. Got the marks on the wall right there where the return wall is going to go. So we get the uh, first piece placed properly. That's very important. If you don't get that one place plumb you are going to be fighting it the whole way plumb actually both ways in and out and side to side okay, guys two day seawall a little bit of hard stuff getting down there so we drove them all through there's no jetting on this it's all driven down 12 foot sheets gonna get started with the uh, tieback system on monday we'll take a break for this weekend all right smiles yes sir yes sir
got done at the boat ramp loading up some more pilings for the job we're working on right now. So you got some 8 inch 30s and 8 inch 35s on here. Got to get this completed with some 16s for the dock. Got all of our framing package lumber stacked up on the back side. You guys are cleaning up the barge as we're pushing. It's probably got about a 45 minute push. Got a pretty heavy load on. We've also got my little wood barge tied to the side that I made up. It's got at least 80,000 pounds of flotation underneath this barge. I've actually had this uh, 308 tractor sit on this thing before, but it's a great bar just to haul material and keep the scrap on and all that kind of stuff. All part of doing the job, a lot of people don't realize, get material to the job site, it all takes time. Captain smiles, training. Good production over here. Got seawall in, top cap on, backfill in. Got the old lifts here. The customer wants to reinstall his boathouse. We're gonna put those back up. We set the poles so it would fit this lift. Got the strings ran out, four foot wide dock. Five of the boathouse poles are already set. Went with 35s out there at the end because it is muddy and the uh, side poles here on the side of the dock are 25s, 12 foot in the ground. framed up now. The walk around the boathouse is framed up. We're also getting the decking laid. Progress is happening real fast on this job. Good production on this project. Got everything framed up. The platform's framed up now. Bolted. Now we're shaking out the decking, getting it laid out and screwed down. Then we're going to get started on the boathouse for tomorrow. Early morning start out here. We're getting the rest of our decking screwed off. All laid, looks real good. Getting ready to start framing up the boathouse again.
this project. We're going to move over next door. We've got a little repair to do over here. The guys are getting plywood installed on the roof right now. After that, we'll put the underlayment down and shingles. Probably get that wrapped up uh, by this afternoon or midday tomorrow. Getting ready for the sod now. Landscapers are here. We're getting the final connection of the water line for the dock and the electrical conduit installed for the electricians so they can run the power out. Get that buried for them first so they ain't gonna come back and dig the grass up once we get it in place. Get them shingles done. <laughs> Put the caps on right now. I think just about completed. Looking good. You guys are putting the finishing touches on this project now. You see we came back in with the landscaper, got this all sodded up. It looks beautiful. Gave him a really nice larger backyard. The guys are finishing up with the uh, bumpers on the end of the pilings right now to protect the boat from bumping up against the poles. Turned out looking real good. You know, the rest of the stuff carried off. Right, Hector? This is a wood decking style. Really like this here. Turned out looking really good. Average style dock, piling caps. Large boathouse. Used the customer's existing lift. Put it back inside the boathouse. You can see on the outside here, we left these poles up for mooring purposes. We got bumpers on them also for being able to tie a boat up. Waterfall side here on the outside, cleaning the motors out. We installed a new cradle on his lift. He had slings before, so we got out a little further deep water, so now he's got cradles on it. Turned out looking really good. Jordan over on this side, finishing up on the bumpers. Good job, man. Good job. It was good. Beautiful day out here today. Glad that hurricane missed us. Feel sorry for the people down south though. Never wish it on nobody. Thank you guys for checking out my page. I appreciate that. If you got any comments, leave me some comments down there. I'll try to get back with you and give me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you like the channel. I try to post at least one video a week. Thanks y'all.